Okay, and uh, thanks for coming. Uh, in this session, I will tell you a story, a story about uh, LibreOffice macros. But uh, when I submit this paper, I told uh, in the app chat I said clearly that this is not. I'm not going to discuss about the technical issues. I'm not going to discuss about development issue, but it is a true story about my experience. And uh, yeah, actually it is a frustrated story, but no, I'm, I'm not criticizing anyone or anything, just to tell you what I've experienced and uh, hope that we can do it together to make it better. Okay, so let me introduce the story background first. The background is in Taiwan. Okay, in, uh, since last year, 2015, we started to migrate LibreOffice and ODF very hard, migrate very hard. But you know, in Taiwan, before 2015, people have been deeply bound to Microsoft, everything of Microsoft, from 95, 98, to all kinds of office versions, all kinds of servers. Yeah, they have been bound for more than 20 years. And uh, uh, an interesting thing is that when they use Microsoft Office, they actually have no idea about how to generate a document correctly. Okay, so there are many, many incredible ways you know, incredible way, and uh, sometimes it can be pronounced as ridiculous. Many, many incredible way. So here are, uh, I just have two examples about how incredible they are. The first is this. This is a phone. Yeah. <laughs> this is a phone made by, made by uh, spreadsheet, uh, what's that? Pong, eh? Microsoft. Okay, I, I don't even remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the area rounded by the red, red frame is how, uh, wh where people need to feel. Okay? And uh, for us, uh, we know that we can use, uh, we can select the area and make the border red, right? But when we open it in the LibreOffice, trying to convert to ODF, it becomes this. Okay, all the red frames are gone and uh, going to up. You see? Uh, so people come, come to ask us, why, why, why my file didn't work in LibreOffice? Is LibreOffice that bad? So we say, no, it's impossible. So we get the file from them back and see. And we found where the problem is. Did you see here? Yeah? They are drawing objects the borders. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they draw the borders by the graphic object. Yeah. All the friend. You know, they, they use the graphic object to draw the friend. Yeah, that's so. <laughs> Is that incredible? Yes. That's the way they work. They think, okay, that, that could work, so they just use this way. They, they don't have idea that how to cor correctly make the form field of with that. Just an aside, I guess sheets two and sheets three are empty. I guess so. Okay. It's <laughs> also very tricky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they, they don't have correct idea even when they are using Microsoft Office. And another, this is a positive example. You know, this is a, a form to make the exam, exam papers like this, uh, here is two, uh, two digit minus two digit, and you can check, you can check, for example, uh, two, two digit plus two digit, or three plus digit minus one digit. That's the exam paper generator. That is done by the Microsoft Office macro. Okay, they, wrote, they write the macro, and the, and the teachers can just check, check and the and paper, exam paper is, is generated. Okay, I, I, when I first see that, because the teacher told me that, yes, he likes to use LibreOffice, but 
he has some files with macros like this. And he has no way to, to convert to the LibreOffice. So, okay, the story begins. Uh, Taiwan has launched three years project for, since last year. And uh, almost all the training courses are for writer calculating press. Okay, but there are two important things that we didn't, we didn't have training course, we didn't have people that are familiar with. The first is this, Microsoft access to LibreOffice base. Yeah, we have many people familiar with Microsoft access, but we have no people familiar to base. The second is this, macros, okay. We have many, many files with macros. Maybe they recorded that, yes. But some still use Visual Basic to write macros, just like, like the phone, phone example. So one day, uh, someone asked me if I can teach how to write macro with DevOps Basic. Well, I, yes, I, 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 I'm a developer. I'm a programmer. I write code with many, many languages, even the basic on the Apple II. That's when I was in the elementary school. <laughs> yeah, but I've never written any single code with Visual Basic. But I think, well, how hard can it be, right? So I try to Google with this. Ah, you see, LibreOffice Basic materials, so many materials. How hard can it be? So I started to download or to visit the old website, and the first file is this. This is the first file I found. <laughs> LibreOffice is basically a guide, but, oops. It is a open office or LibreOffice. Is it? Oops. And, uh, oh, version three, okay. Mm. I said, okay, I, it, should, it shouldn't be too far from the version five, I think. Yeah, so yes, it, it seems to be a guide I can, I, can, I can read, I can study. And the second is this. Oh, this page is another incredible page. <laughs> okay, basics. The session provides the fundamentals for working with LibreOffice Basic. Yes, good. And, and then, <laughs> what else? What else? Okay, the syn syntax section describes the basic symbol element of LibreOffice Basic for the detailed description. Please refer to the okay. So, but what else? What IDE even even driven macros? The nothing, you know. Nothing more. Yeah, the this page is still exists. <laughs> you know, this page is still exists there. Ah. And uh, I'm thinking about, uh, mm, okay, let me keep going. Okay, and I finally find something useful. That is basic programming guide, but it is written. The last update time was uh, 2013, uh, about three years before. Okay, and then LibreOffice basic help. Uh, it has something, yes. That you can see, yes, they they have some some content, but it seems with all the dialogue, hmm, they, maybe it's recording a macro, but not what I want to study. I want to study with write code with above basic, right? Okay, so all right, keep going. Okay, uh, finally I find a find a document, very useful because it has a basic hard world. Not a dialogue, a dialogue show Hello World, no. It feels Hello World string into a cell in Calc. Okay, that's what I want, yes. Finally found it. But then, how about write a Hello World in writer? No, I have no idea. I studied many files, all the documents on the website, but I have no idea about how to write the hard work macros in the writer. Okay, most of the documents, they are about APIs. They are about uh, uh, some complicated syntax, but not a single hard work to run on different, different applications. 
So I started to feel frustrated and I called for help. I asked uh, one of my classmates in the elementary school. He's very, very familiar with Microsoft Office macros, and uh, he also likes to use Open Office. Open Office. And then, of course, he's trying to convert to the LibreOffice. So I asked him, and he gave me a one line example for the Hello World in Writer. OK, he gives me this. This component get test string uh, Hello World. OK, and I run it. It really works. Oh, but OK, I, I read so many documents, but I never noticed that there is a method, there, there is an attribute to get text. <laughs> you know, they are all API descriptions, but no example or no what. So I, I have no idea that, oh, OK, get text and the string, the string attribute in the, get te in the text area. That's what I want. No, I have no idea. I have no idea. The document is, uh, OK. Then also, he gave me a good document. This, this one, uh, let me see. This one. Yeah, Angel, Angel's macro information. Yeah, it is good. But also, it's still, yeah, 2007. Yeah, I know. But this is useful. But I still, yeah, I still don't find the hello world because it's hello world is use a dialog to print hello world. OK. Anyway, I, I really tried very hard to find something useful because I need to r teach others and I need to write our tutorial, right? So also, he told me that X-ray tool. Yeah, X-ray tool is a very useful tool, right? It can show many attributes or methods in an object. But I downloaded that and installed, and no surprise, it failed. It failed. Yes, it failed. So I did a few debugging, and I found the problem. The problem is that start desktop, this one, is no longer global static. So I need to declare and assign the friend that they saw to, to it so that it can work. But then I try to find no any release node, no any document, no any no no any single word describe that star desktop is no longer. I, I, I don't even know when it is dropped from the from the global global object. I have no idea. But I just added this word this this and the the X-ray tool works again. Works again. And I also I put it on the internet to share. Yes. It still works and it still helped me to find the correct attribute and method. But the original, or original version cannot work at least on the LibreOffice 5. Okay. So after studying for some days, yes, and uh, OK, I started to understand a bit about the structure of the API, about, about the structure of Uno. But still, some examples still didn't work as I expect, like status bar. I tried to fill the status bar, but it didn't work. And I need to add something, from, for example. Uh, anyway, it's not as smooth <laughs> as I expect. Okay. And uh, so far, I still didn't find a way to to show a hard work in the impress slide. I still, still didn't know how. And then know any single document read about this. So here, I, I'd like to tell you the, what I wish to have. Of course, I wish to have a tutorial from the easier, easy hard work to look deeper into the Uno. The hard work is, just like what I have said, to run in, on different applications in LibreOffice, and uh, maybe at least it can give, give us an idea about the make, how the maker run on this application. Actually, on Writer, on Calc, on Impress, the, the, the way to show, show how, how the world is different. And I want to compare the difference between them. Yeah. 
So this guy, uh, this guy, liver office five point getting started. It is new document, right? And it is very good. I know. Yes, it is very good. I I I, I look at it. Hey, wait. Where is that? Okay, it's here. It's here. Okay. Getting start with macros introduces how to record the macros. Yes, but when it mentioned how to write a macro without, with, uh, let me see, create a more complicated, uh, run the macro, macro failure. Macro organization download and the how to run tools. Hey, where is what I want? Yes, it is. Writing macro without the recorder. When in this session, okay, give us an example. Yeah, this is similar to the hard word my friend gave me. Yeah, similar to and uh, it just. Uh, use the cursor that so that the, the whole text area will not be cleared. Okay, it give this example, and then nothing more. And then nothing more. Okay, just this, and then it give you finding more information in the health, liver of his health. But uh, I'm I'm really uh, the health is if the health is like this, well it it doesn't help. <laughs> Right? Yeah, it, I, I really feel it running too fast. Running fast. Okay, yes, it, 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 it describes how to record the macro very detailed, but, but how to write the macro is still have very few, very few material. So what I'm doing now, what I'm doing now, I'm actually, yes, I'm writing it. I'm writing a tutorial. Just found the Hello World basically wrong in writer and the calc, not impress yet because I have, <laughs> I still don't find a way to write this in impress. But I I have an example to, for writer and calc and the compare the differences. Okay, I, that's the way I think the users can easily understand. Okay, and uh, I want to write several common examples to tell how to write in different applications. And uh, maybe for the later chapters, how to rewrite the Microsoft Office macros with Basic and Python. I know that now we can use Python to write macros in LibreOffice. I know, but it's also it needs some uh, programming experience. I know it because it's called many APIs. Yeah, but. Of course, it's written in traditional Chinese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then the progress is for now. Yeah, because because I don't even have a, a, an, any idea to write write macros in, in press. Yeah. So I still now it's open, but it's in Chinese. So I think. <laughs> yeah. This is what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, okay, so finally the conclusion is that I wish to have a document, a better document for teach people how to write simple macros to complicated macros. Okay, with basic or with Python, it's okay. And the current documents are very old. They are very old. If we, it's about the liberal office, most are in the open office three, right? All the files, all the documents I found is for the open office three. And the, yes, there are really some changes from then to now. Just like start desktop, it's no longer easy that, right? There are some changes, but I have no, no documents to describe those changes. I don't know how much it changed from uh, from, from then to now. So I think we need more documents, more tutorials. And uh, so I'd like to change this. 
So I'm doing that, though in traditional, but I'm just starting. So it's still time that if anyone wants to join me, I can use English. 